Hello there, Blueberry Pies. Hex from Ethereum, otherwise known as eHex, has now rallied 89% from the low, where everybody sent me funeral messages, coffin emojis. I have a video for them. Hey, old man, give me everything. Oh, oh, call an ambulance, call an ambulance, but not for me. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Not for me, for them. What's happened now is Hex from Ethereum had a giant wave of FUD and capitulation. Standard for crypto, standard for assets. This is what happens. After everybody sold, they decided to come out and try to put the nail in the coffin everywhere else. People were reading signs that weren't there. People were interpreting Richard Hart messages saying, ah, oh, it's worth zero, it's worth zero. You know, the only thing that's worth zero is the value that you place on here because you should know better after seeing everything, all the prov all the information I've provided you, all the high value content, the crowd is never right. I've seen it time and time again. The crowd is never right. I don't know specifically why. Well, I do have made videos, but you get the point. Don't worry about every single time. I've marked precisely on this chart, friends. Hex from Ethereum rallied 89%. I have the full chart here. It has come from down here back up to show a bit of strength. Now, of course, it doesn't have to go all the way back to parity. So at this point, 1.0, they're worth the same. We don't know what the market's going to do, where it's going to go. I do believe, though, Hex from Ethereum is so hated, so unloved. Everybody thinks it's worth nothing. It just seems like it sticks out like a sore thumb compared to everything else. I want you to know, right at the bottom, I got funeral emojis, funeral coffin emojis, everything. Like, ah, you're wrong, you're wrong. I specifically said, this is, I don't care, friends. I specifically said during this time, everybody wants to focus here. During this rectangle of friendship, I specifically said the strategies. I'm going to give it 12 to 24 months, not 12 to 24 days, 12 to 24 months is also one to two years. It's the same thing. And what happened was I was participating in the yield farming. It got rugged. You can provide liquidity for the E-hex and P-hex. Just sit there and earn your yield. You can participate in that. You just sit there and see where you go in the next 12 to 24 months. And perhaps at some point in the future, I know you can't see the narrative right now. Maybe Maybe something comes and surprises you. But I understand if you don't want to take that chance, maybe you don't even believe in that. Maybe you're like, you, you're too frozen. That's fine. You do have the option to just rotate out, put it in an ice pile, split your bag 50-50 and do it. I don't like going all in on one ID just because when something keeps moving against you and it will, you're not going to have any ammo left. And you might say, oh, but we're down here. You go, yeah, but you don't know the future. What if, so of course, below this line, this means E hex is less than P hex. You can see this number, 0 0.710. That means E hex is 71% of P hex's price. It went down as low as 40% down here. We had a big capitulation. Somebody literally slipped it down 30%, and I literally got funeral messages. On that exact slip, I'll show you right now. On the exact slip right here, I literally received funeral messages, coffin emojis. They go, ah, rest in peace. You got it wrong. You got it wrong. Like, who cares? Who are you? No one cares. What part of I'm waiting 24 months don't you understand? What part of that don't you get? Well, I understand. Okay, this is what, friends, this is the crowd cheering. People are always going to be tempted by the color candle. I understand that. You know by now, this is what I'm here to teach you because you're a baby doll baby cake. You like, subscribe, you press the belly button and all. I'm here to teach you that I go through the same emotions as you. I feel the pain. I feel the disgust and the shame at the lows. And yeah, when the green candles come, I want to take off my pants and I don't want to have a shower for a week. I understand that, right? That's much longer than the standard of three or four days. When this happens, there's a key difference. I am not abandoning the long-term thesis. Other people are. That's the key difference. You are now witnessing this live. When I started in your cute little fluffy sipper position, 
I wish someone could show me this. I wanted to see it happen. I knew to do this because I've been in the game for a long time, but I knew to do this. I just wish I could see someone go through this. Do you know what I was seeing? What I was seeing was when you see candles like this, let's zoom into the pain, right? We're going to zoom into the pain right here. When you are seeing absolute death and destruction, that's always seeing death, death, death and destruction. When I'm seeing this, I was witnessing, this is for other asset classes. This is for other, you know, crypto asset classes. This is for everybody out in the boomer world. They'd never show emotion. The people that I had access to, the people who were great, made a lot of money and were successful, I would never see them in pain. They were robots. They were always like, yeah, I guess this, you know, this is just it. Who cares, right? But I could never really read them because I was a young pup like you. And I was wondering, hmm, how come they don't feel emotions? Maybe something's wrong with me. This is what I was going through. I thought there was something wrong with me. No, now I look back, I realize they're a bunch of poopy heads. They had the same emotions. But when they spoke to me, they were putting on a face. There was a, It was a front. It was a facade. They don't want to come and cry out in the open. So you know, in an office setting or speaking to other people, they're like, yeah, yeah, everything's good. Yeah, I'm going to drink wine on a Tuesday afternoon. That's what they were like. That's a load of bullocks. I don't like that approach. That's not realistic. You're meant to feel pain. You're meant to feel pain. When this happens, I made a promise to myself. When I could have a outreach medium like I have now on YouTube and Twits, and I could tell you the truth, the truth is it feels crap when you get kicked in the nuts, man. Who the hell is this weirdo who's on so many drugs and painkillers that they don't feel the pain down there? You're meant to feel the pain. But we go through it anyway. Just don't capitulate. That's the difference. The difference between me and the other poopy heads is my slippers are fluffy. There's a crumpled. They take their crumpled slippers off. We're still wearing ours. We don't give up because 12 of 24 days from now. Every single time this happens, friends, every single time, I promise you, every time, and I do mean every single time red candles like this come and I get funeral messages, people then send me the following. They say, you're not updating your worldview. That's point number one. Point number two, you're not keeping up with the times. Point number three, they say, you're not reading the scenario right. Just admit you're wrong. They always say that every single time, time and time again. And they'll say, you just got to give it up, man. By the way, I want to let you know too, this is the funny part. Down here, right, down in the zone when we're going down, I got death threats. This is the funniest part. Shout out to that Joe guy, whatever his name is. <laughs> I got a death threat. He said to me, and I made a video. He literally said to me, don't talk about eHex. Don't you dare talk about eHex again or else. Stop it now. I got a death threat for talking about an imaginary Ponzi coin. Let me talk about my imaginary Ponzi coin, sir. I'm not even asking for permission. You will let me. This is the funny part. Man. This happens time and time again. And why I want you to learn from this is because... There will be a time in the future, you know, in all our crypto, where the polar opposite of this is going to happen. Just like how we feel zero strength at the tops, you will feel infinite strength. But you're not used to that yet because you're hoping and praying for that. That's why many people are going to hold through the next bear market. They're going to ignore all the signs because they don't want to get rid of that feeling because they waited so long for that feeling, so long. Three long years, 2021 on the way down, 2022 on the way to zero, 2023 a recovery year, all of 2024, now we're in year four, maybe 2025. And for me to tell them, hey, it's actually over or it's closer to over than, than the, uh, you got to start getting some out. It's closer to over than being the start. People don't want to hear that. It's very harsh. You got to start preparing now. You're not going to prepare at the top. You prepare now. This is why I collect these funeral messages, friends. This is why I enjoy this. If you remember, I have a YouTube channel. Maybe you've seen it. Please press the like, subscribe, the belly button. Press the belly button and all. I've made videos on eHex. I've gone through different videos of eHex. Let's speak about this. Now, even if you don't like Hex, it's fine. Or Pulse Chain, that's fine too. But you can learn something from this. Okay, You can learn something from this. This is a good historical account. This is a good a case study to know that, hey, even when... 
there are 50,000 good reasons why something should just keep going to zero, it didn't. Just like here. 50,000 good reasons why I should go to zero, friends, and this was somehow the wrong move, and now the narrative changes. In my video here, I put these timestamps for you. Spent a lot of time doing for this. This is why I do mean high-value content for you. H-V-C. That stands for friendship. I do it all for you. I put the timestamps in here to show you this. Look at this. Hex from Ethereum, eHex. We went through. Hex, yes, it's a cycle two coin. I even have an arrow here saying, yeah, we could go to the poopy town and I'll keep collecting. That's right. I'll keep collecting over the next 12 to 24 months and keep improving my price. Okay. I also mention the pain. I always say, look at the title here. Don't become the scam you hate. So there's the P-Hex and the E-Hex and everyone thinks if E-Hex goes down, P-Hex will get all the value. Let's have a look at what actually happened here, friends. The funny part is Hex itself did not receive any value. P-Hex did not receive the value from the value lost. No, it did not. It went the same chart as everything else. If it received the value, it should be all the way up here. It should be two and a half cents. It didn't. It did not do that. Instead, it stayed here. It just went down with everything. Didn't even move. So there you go. The whole thesis of let's sell E-Hex to pump P-Hex did not happen. People just capitulated E-Hex. That's all they did. And I like that. You know why? Because now I know there's less weak hands in E-Hex compared to P-Hex. And I know what you're going to say. You're going to say to me, excuse me, kind sir, straighten your back. And I have done that. You're going to say to me, what about Bank X? What about the Bank X scammers? They got 800 million, etc." I'm going to tell you something that I told a friend literally 45 minutes ago. In my experience, learn from this. In my experience, whenever you highlight a super evil bad guy, the big bad boss that you think is going to disappoint you in the future of what you're holding, whenever you identify that, I promise the one that ends up disappointing you is never them. It's not them. Most of the time, it's actually not them. I can go through so many examples in my mind where I just go through coins, show me ticker symbols where I thought, oh, I thought, you know, this big bad person was going to be the one who scams and sells us. It's the ones that are closest to you, the ones that you trust. They are the ones that let you down. This is also like a little metaphor for life, I promise you. So, yeah, what I'm telling you is when PHEX has its moment of weakness, this was not a moment of weakness. This P-Hex going down, baby dolls, this is not P-Hex in, in strife. P-Hex was talked about nobody on Twitter. No one was saying, oh, P-Hex in strife. There was no undervalued part, right? But it will in the future. At some point, there's going to be a moment of weakness somewhere. I don't know where it is. It could be today. It could be three months, six months, nine months next year. I don't know. But at some point, it's going to have weak hands and the truth will come out. It will be day one people. It will be some of the big whales. It will be people... Some It will get leaked. It will get leaked. People who you thought were benevolent to the system, they were actually subhuman trash filth and they've been lying to your face. It's going to come out. I promise you. I've seen this time and time and time again. I can only now predict these because I was in your little slippers, your little fluffy slippers. I was in there so many times saying to myself, oh, this person's good and then that person's bad. And guess what? It plays out like the movies every single time. There's a, th there's a twist at the end. Right, The bad guy ends up being a neutral dude, and then the good guy who you trusted, they end up stabbing you in the back. Seen it time and time again. It's going to happen again. It's going to be sad. But when it happens, perhaps, perhaps it will be the mechanism. So I'm going to change this, but it's an eight-hour chart. Eight-hour charts are racist. Anything less than a day, even equal to a day chart. A day chart's also racist, by the way. This is crypto moves so fast, this is equivalent to racism. You shouldn't even be in a daily chart. It will destroy you. Three days are the smallest I would ever recommend. That's it. That's by the way, I only recommend a chart time. That's it. If you want to sell your bags and leave, you can do that too. I'm just telling you this. Three days, less chance of giving you a heart attack. One week, definitely the optimum place to be because no one plays here. No one looks at this here. When you look at these candles, they move so slow. They don't give you a heart attack. And notice that, oh, it's red and it stays red. Okay, it's green. Yeah, it stays green. That's what it is. Okay, I'm telling you now, for this ratio to come back, so it doesn't have to be that EHEX 
necessarily goes up. And yes, I've drawn it here, but hey, this could make us wait a long time. And this could even be like sideways for like a freaking year. And then you might just have this moment up here where something pops. I'm just speculating at some point, somewhere, it's possible someone in the P-Hex system dumps it and they don't own E-Hex anymore. They've already gotten rid of their E-Hex. This is just what I'm feeling. The weak hands. The weak hands are out of E-Hex. Nobody wants to sell down here. What do they have left? They have P-Hex. So I want you to think about this, okay? Think about this. The subset of people in the system who were willing to sell E-Hex, okay? The subset of people, they are now weak hands. You put them in a category. They're weak hands. But let me tell you something. They still have P-Hex. So you can write this down. The poopy heads already sold their e-hex they still own p-hex so i want you to remember this they can only damage p-hex from now on so now this tells me critical information p-hex has a bit more excess poopy heads in there toilet paper hands and you're right you're probably asking you're probably cheering at home there must be a toilet paper emoji here to signify them that's right so this doesn't mean we go up today we move up down there fry you're doing handstands naked in your backyard it doesn't really matter just telling you, on average, at some point, this is probably going to happen. Okay. Now, we have this beautiful, juicy information. What can we actually do about it? Nothing. We keep holding. It was funny. I told you. I kept DCA buying. I can't tell you. how much. We've barely started, by the way. If you are somebody who has sold, please just think about this. I'm not, I'm not allowed to tell you to buy or sell. I'm not allowed to tell you anything. You, do your own, you are your own man or woman and or duck. I'm just telling you, if it was me... And I sold, I would get back in. That's just me. You can do what you want for your family and your situation. Please consult financial advisor and good luck with that. Okay. So that's all we really got to be thinking about. Now, when it comes to looking at this ratio itself, is there a place where I would want to act? Because maybe we never hit parity. We don't even know. I still think, eh, I don't want to touch it here. Personally, this is what I'd be thinking. Okay. I understand here. By the way, I hope I hope I get destroyed doing this, okay? I'm not even guaranteed to act here, but if we hit anywhere from 0 0.85 up to parity in this zone, if we hit anywhere up here, I do understand if you want to then protect yourself for the future and you say, hey, I want to now rotate more of my E-hex and get more P-hex out of that. I understand if you want to do that. Maybe you have, like, let's say you there are people out there. Maybe you have 100,000 E-hex, 100,000 P-hex, right? Maybe you have that, right? It doesn't even matter the ratios, but you might then towards the parity, I understand if you want to shift it again. If you want to have like, let's say you move it to like 150, 150,000, sorry, you want to put 50,000 E-hex and 150,000 P-hex. I understand if you want to do something like that. I'm personally going to still be waiting because I believe, just I think it's too early to call out and remove the possibility of the E-hex to P-hex yield farms coming back. Do you remember the E-hex, P-hex farms? Friends, a lot of you are telling you now, I can't tell you how much my heart gets broken. I wish I could reply to every single one of you. I love you so much. Thank you for your kind comments and everything. But it really upsets me when I come across a comment and someone's bottom sold, and then I come across it like a month later, two later, and it hurts, man. It really hurts to see. But hey, it's always followed up by an essay message telling me how I'm wrong. Like, don't worry about if I'm wrong or not. If if you you have to do whatever is in your best interest, and you have to put the position on your portfolio that allows you to hold the longest. That's probably the best way to think about it. Not even probably, it is the best way to think about it. So you have these pulse X yield farms. You can participate in them. I still think this hex and pulse one isn't the end of it. I still think it's possible that an e-hex, p-hex one returns. I'm just thinking, why would Richard Hart not have an e-hex to ink? See, that's my clue. It's like, hey, a lot of things are missing here. But hey, anything can happen. We don't know. No expectations. I feel like he got the weak hands out. That's what I feel like, friends. I just feel like every single person who's sold it down here, he, he, he did the job. He's done the job. He's like, well, the way I see it, he wants to, look, I, I'm speculating here. I can only guess, all right? And that's the whole game is guessing, all right? We have to guess. He's Everybody's forced to guess. We don't know anything. But in my mind, 
if I could tap into him, tap into a duck, he's swimming in his pond. I feel like he wants to introduce EHEX juicy incentives back, but he doesn't want any weak hands there. He wants he wants people to get out of EHEX. That's what I believe. I believe this job has done it. That's just me. Because think about it. If you wanted to maximize the reward for the existing people and the believers, you don't want any weak hands to participate on the upside. So what you would do is, this is logically what you do is, get rid of the weak hands in EHEX, maybe do a little tweet about that, is that soft FUD, whatever it is. Once you get them out, they have emergency end staked. They have sold the bottom. They've played huge slippage. They've sold into strong hands like me and you. If you're DCA buying with me, congratulations. You're a baby doll, baby cake, blueberry pie. And now when he reintroduces the farms later on, guess what? Those weak hands, they can't get back in. They've paid enormous slippage. They've hurt the price. The hurt price went into the strong hands and now it's got to be transferred out. If they want back in, they get pay they have to get back in with lower slippage. But guess here's the thing. They still own the P-Hex. So this is personally what I would do to introduce EHEX Inc. or EHEX PHEX back. I'm not sure. Of course, it's very tough to wrestle with the idea that the EHEX PHEX farm, it's crazy. Like, what yield is appropriate? In in my eyes, this already went through this. In my eyes, I think you can get away with like a 30% yield for the farm. 30 to 50% for EHEX and PHEX. I know it's uh, it, it might sound a lot, but it will go down over time, probably drops by 1% every week, and you still have that risk of impermanent loss. Like, I know this is scary, but we have to look at this, friends. Yes, if you're in that parity, okay, let's say you did this at parity. Let's put on a three-day chart. If you were in at parity here and you did the EHEX, PHEX, we are still down 26%. You have 26% less, so you've gotten crushed on it theoretically right i mean theoretically is in yes if you exit right now you got crushed that's why the game is to hold through it i've also been seeing a lot of comments a lot of you finding it very hard mentally to deal with these swings you don't like your coins shifting too much that's completely fine hold out for the potential of single side staking maybe single side staking comes back i'm sure it will it's never in there in the first place but i'm hoping it returns as a topic and we get to keep improving. We are so early, friends. We are really so early. It's been day 33, day, day 34 now, okay? So this ratio message, you understand here, friends. When people start making funeral and coffin emojis, I'm telling you right now, please, from the bottom of my heart, you might hate Hex. That's fine. You may you may hate Pulse Chain and Pulse X. That's completely fine. But I have a message here for you. Learn from this. Learn about, not even about, heck, not about these coins, I don't care about these coins. Screw them. Yes, they're a Ponzi. Yes, religious cult. Yes, it's all going to zero. Whatever you want to believe. Whatever. I don't care. I'm just telling you. For your coins, I promise you, learn this. I I was even telling you down here, I was saying there are 30,000 reasons why EHEX should go to zero. 30,000 logical, rational reasons why. But I still don't think it will. I think this weaker coin... Apparently today with no narrative, we'll just eventually flip back. This is just how markets work. The mind, the collective mindset of everybody pricing. And look what it did. It did. It went like this. So now use this. You might say, oh, wow, even in this ecosystem where the founder did a like soft FUD and everybody interpreted it as bad, even in this scenario, the crowd was wrong. Isn't that fantastic to see? Yes, it is. That's why you got to have hope. You got to have faith. You got to have the strength to continue in this game because, man, it's only 2023. We've got a long way to go. But our friendship has got the best years ahead of it too. Tell mum and dad, E-Hex and P-Hex ain't going to zero. And we're going to remain friends forever. And that you love them too. Like, subscribe, belly button, and all friends. I'll catch you in the next one.